Hello guys, I'm back to now. I'm trying to show you how to make a pressure plate nuke, and I wouldn't recommend doing this in a glass field, but that's what I'm doing. So what you're going to do is dig a big hole. It has to be two blocks down, three, whatever. doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to dig this out real quick. It doesn't have to be very long, yeah. Like, this is really how long it has to be. You put one redstone. I like the feature of the redstone that spreads out like that. And press one observer now. If you knew that wet soon when it glows, an observer will see that and trigger something. So if you ever knew that, then good for you. Then we're gonna place one piston like this with a slime block. You can see that in my inventory. Make sure you mine the blocks around it because you don't want to stick to anything, even these two. It doesn't matter right here because we're gonna place a TNT mine card anyway. And that's exactly why we made it long right here so we can dig down because if a TNT mine cart goes hits the ground too hard on too high then it'll actually explode so I'm going to dig that real quick it doesn't have to be very deep I just want to make sure that it explodes for the new update well not 16 not 5 it might have to go deeper that should be about good yeah it's definitely good now what we're going to do you didn't know you can actually place multiple of these you can place like a ton of them so I'm just going to place like 20 here. That should be real good. It's not a very powerful nuke, but... But we're going to cover it up next with dirt. Now, if you do realize that you do have to... With the sticky piston there, you do have to kind of do that. So that's kind of not very realistic, but whatever does the job. And then instead of a button, like I said, I wouldn't recommend doing it. And do a pressure plate so i recommend doing it into like a, a mountain or something because a stone pressure plate matches stone so now we have this i don't like how this has to be here but with the slime there it doesn't want to stick that well so it won't work but what's going to happen is we're going to step on here and it's going to completely like so basically automatically set itself off and it's going to be a huge explosion might be a little laggy. That's why it's so big though, because the TNT minecarts themselves are like two times are like two times powerful if they're mixed together like that. And then we have this big crater. Now, now usually it would make it big on the top and less big on the bottom here, but I guess I dug it very deep for that. Now it's no longer gonna walk. It's just gonna trigger that piston. But you can see that when it triggers the redstone, the observer see that glows up, it triggers a piston which will push the TNT mine cart down here and make it explode. But that's going to end it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but see you next time.